What was that? Nani? Are they holding our head? Uh, what? Uh, this game is sending chills down my spine, dude. Hey guys, just a little heads up before this video starts. As a trigger warning, this game contains a lot of very sensitive and disturbing imagery, text and audio snippets. So, viewer's discretion is advised. For everybody else, enjoy the show and let's go with Franbo. They have a present for me, I wonder. Aww. It's a cat. So sweet and pretty. It's Mr. Midnight. So we already have a name. Congratulations. My best friend. It's Friday, my parents are going out. Okay, so the parents usually have date night on Fridays. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. Oh, do you see on the right side Mr. Midnight enjoying some milk? But something feels really bad. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly I hear something. It's mom. Screaming. Let's investigate. I go closer and closer. Hello? Anybody there? Mom? Dad? Please, don't. What in the hell happened there? Did they go through a satanic ritual? We have to go deep in the forest. And Mr. Midnight is following us. And I think he's seeing something. Oh, two hidden figures are taking us to an unknown place. On the count of three, you will wake up. One, two, three. Friend, how do you feel? Oh, and now we have the possibility to go for different answers. I'm fine, I guess, or I feel like dying. The memory seems very vivid. We do not really look that healthy, especially when you look at our gray skin. I don't understand why you make me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of the recovery. Recovery? Don't you get it? My parents are dead. Ah, oh, poor thing. Everything will get better. I promise. Then let me go. That would be better. You shouldn't tell me how to do my job. But now... I have something for you, friend. See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Oh, we can interact. I'm sorry. I thought this was like a cutscene. This was my mother's purse. Oh. Okay, now we have the purse in our inventory. I see. Open it. There is something inside. Dearest friend. Here's the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you... I remember that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you always keep this purse and give it and all the other things you'll find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. Very nice way to build in the tutorial section for this game. I'm so tired of all this. I just want to go to my room. Yes, you can leave. It's time for your new medicine. Is that FDA approved? Do we know that? Is that something experimental? I am not sure, but it seems we only have two possibilities. It's called Duotine, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we are ready. Oh, and there's the nurse. Anything new today, Dr. Dern? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. We are taking this automatically. We do not have any possibility to say no. I, I don't feel good. Oh my god, Jesus. Ah! Take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Very intense start into the game. Beware, friend Bo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. Friend. Wake up! The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. First of all, we have been waking up, so maybe it's good to get some daylight in. So when I examine this, a golden hook that fell from the curtains. Dr. Marcel Dearn has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. As I said, I have the feeling that we are the testing guinea pig here. Can we look out the window? Oh yes, we can. Spooky outside. And there's a watch guard. In his tower. Alright, so this is the life we are living. And there are others. For the Germans, yeah, or maybe for some German knowledge, this thing here is called Schaukelpferd. Yeah, the more you know. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel. The boy has developed paranoid behavior, paranoia 
not yet diagnosed. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. So maybe he's talking with us. He opens up to somebody who is in the same situation. Everybody says that I'm sick. It's very interesting that the night sister is letting us have a stroll around the facility without any supervision. Uh, maybe talk with her. Oh, I wanted to know what she's writing. I'm curious. Oh, friend, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days. Maybe we were asleep for three days. Hopefully we are wearing pampers at this point. Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you are not taking it again. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Accidentally? I have to fix this. Follow me. Something's missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? Uh, no, miss. I, I haven't seen anything. Well... <laughs> I have to go find something to fix this. But now we can go back, right? She left the room, which means let's take the band-aid. Then maybe this. The nurse handwriting is awful. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the letters A to I. And those are circled. Oh, wait. Eight. H. Maybe it's height, so eight, nine, four, five. Okay, let's try. Five. Let's go! Can I use this? Oh. Uh. Watch your step. Oh no. What have we done? Okay, they are not attacking us. Excuse me, nurse lady. This may be very useful. Wait, we can... No fucking way. We get items from the other side, from the other world? Oh my god. It was not me. And there's somebody at the window. I don't know if that's good, but let's interact with her. Are those the hooded figures? Are they holding our head? Is this a metaphor for holding our mind hostage because we are suffering under mental illness? And now the boy looks different too. This is creepy as hell, man. What is the black thing sitting next to you? Yeah, that is not no face. Oh, dude. Of course it's locked. Okay, so maybe we can use the key now on the door. Ah, the shape isn't right. Do we have something that is in the shape of that? Can we use the key here? Yes, I got it. And there's something inside. Can I combine this with that? And then use this as a special key? Yes, we can. Let's go. What was that? Nani? Mr. Cylinder? The patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person, which almost killed her. Dr. Marcel has become close to the patient through drawing therapy. Maybe try to talk with her? You see them? You do, right? The creatures that follow everyone. I can't see them, but I know they're here. Yeah, I think it is important to get more information about them. Well, then tell me. You like to draw? I love to draw. Crayon. A crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. Or maybe she gives us the information if we find the missing crayon. Oh my god. God, dude. And there's the creature that she's unable to see. And do you see that? It's the clown from the painting. Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. Oh, this game is sending chills down my spine, dude. The king. Whoa, bro. Oh my, oh, Jinjo Ito in the house or what? Oh, this is spooky as hell, man. The nurses, they tie me up, and when I want to draw, I can't. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. Then comes the red milk. Look. Oh god, okay. I mean, this is bad too, but I thought she is cutting her arteries or something. Oh, there's a guard. That's not good. And there's a key. Maybe we have to use our pills here. And I have the feeling I'm getting jump scared so hard, but... Oh my god, dude, what the fuck? This clock sounds odd. Oh, you mean the sound is the only thing that's odd about the clock? Guys, do you see this? What is wrong with the teddy bear? Who is that? Jason Voorhees. Don't touch my sword. I didn't know it was yours. Okay, so this is Damien. I am your king. Oh, oh, the king likes to draw. Okay, but he is the king, at least from his perspective. And the one we have been talking about in the other room with the crayons. This was the artistic kit. I want your walking cane. What walking cane? Do you mean my sword? Yes, your highness. 
What would you give me in exchange? Bring me a castle and a horse. Only then I will grant you my sword. A few minutes later. So I have checked on YouTube and there is a very, very simple solution to that. We have to go to her. And do you remember when she showed us her hands? Put the band-aids on her scars. And then we get a, oh, thank you. You can have the crayon. Now go, I have to draw. And then we get the crayon. I can combine this with the white paper and draw the special present for the king, the castle and the horse. I used a band-aid on everything and I really missed out the one person with the really visible scars. But at least we can go to the king now and give him his present. There you go. There's your picture. Oh, that's beautiful. Exactly what I dreamed of. You can take my sword now. It's yours. Nice. An arm extension would be nice. Okay, so now I can reach high, but let's try to use that. Hey, hey, give me that. You can take the key. Oh, now we are fighting over that. You bastard, I will get it back. I will do whatever you want. I'll never leave this chair. Okay, maybe now use this on him. Oh, I don't want any trouble, so I bought this cake for you. I'm not interested in taking anything that comes from you. Please take it. It will make your life a bit sweeter. I don't care about making my life sweeter. Now leave. Leave me alone. Hey. Gladys, would you do me a favor? Sure. Anything but bring coffee to the guard. I can't do it because I have to take care of the children. I have other things to do myself. Sorry. Yeah, she looks very, very busy with her magazine. Okay, then take the coffee on guard. Here's your hot, hot coffee, sir. Psych! Burn in hell, bitch. Look what you did, you insane orphan bitch. Oh, ha. Okay, dude. You did that on purpose. Now I have to go change. Ah, burns like hell. Don't go anywhere, you little shit. Then grab that thing. Now I can unlock the office. And use that. And there we are. Dr. Marcel, turn off the alarm from the security system panel in the reception. We have made progress. Let's go. December 17 equals July 25th. Let's use our pills. Uh, and this is us. Is this our demon? Even though your eyes are open, you can't understand. Even though your eyes are bleeding, you can't feel. Don't hide what hurts. Let it hurt you. Phil? A forgotten girl with no family or cat will die when the moon arrives. And he's closing the door. Oh no. Ah, shit. Yeah, come on. Whatever helps. <gasps> you see? There it was. Oh, the wind hole. I guess this is my way back. So, this seems to be the janitor's basement. Oh, closed door. But we have the key. Oh, dude, what the fuck? If you struggle, you know that it was I. I will be in every corner to make you suffer and cry. If you choose to disobey, your cat's life will be marked. The monster won't let me go home, but if I find the maze, maybe I can find Mr. Midnight. Oh, what is this? Change the container so it looks like an approved variant of Dotine. I knew that there was shit behind the curtain. They're testing us. Scrapped label. Yes. I think it's time for the pills again. Uh, what? Uh. You really use your head in this place. Ha! Wordplay. I have goosebumps. Not because I'm like super scared, but the topic really gets me. Okay, now I'm scared. Calm down. The key isn't here. I'll let you know if it turns up, but you must calm down. Yes, I'll bring it to you if I find it, alright? Bye. But the nurse, I have to get rid of her. We have to take the pills again. What the fuck? Oh my god. This is so weird, man. Oh. <laughs> there you go. I hope the nurse sees the key. Oh, the key was here after all. I better take it back. So the code would be 293. Two, 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 nine, three, two. Oh my god, yeah! All right, then, let's go. Freedom! You little bitch, I make you pay for what you did. You clever little girl, do you think you can just leave? What? It can't be. No! Ah. And there's the cat! Hog! There's Mr. Midnight saving the day. I need to get to the maze. And there we are. What happened to this place? I hope I find Mr. Midnight soon. Okay, what happens if we take the pill now? 
this is so fucked up. I don't care about the tree. I care about the key. Curiosity be damned. Damn you, curiosity. But what are you? Are you kind of curious yourself? What is the right question, but why would be more appropriate? I don't have time to chat, sir. I want the key, that's all. Oh, I thought these are witches. Okay, so I have to put on another voice. But that key isn't ours. And it's not yours for sure. It's always good to have an extra key, especially when you're up to something. Oh, we couldn't care less. The affection towards you is simply none. Can I have the key now? We came from the south, flying, as always. And one of us got curious about this key. And then all of us got stuck here. And because of our long hair, we can't get loose. Can I help you? Out of curiosity, of course. We usually get stuck on trees, but we have something to fix that. A beautiful comb to comb our hair every time we get stuck. But there's a problem. A filthy thief took our comb. Now we are stuck forever. If you find the thief and the comb, you will get the key. Deal? We'll be here, waiting. Alright, so we know what to do. We have to find the comb so we can free those head ghosts from curiosity. This point and click adventure is super interesting. The topic is what makes the overall experience so uncomfortable and puts you in a certain position of unease, I would say. And even when October is over, we can still play a few scary games and maybe continue with Franbo. So have a great rest of the day. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out on future content here at Glancet Games. And until then, I wish you a beautiful rest of the day or evening whenever you're watching this video and as always stay safe play fair and keep gaming this is glance at games over and out